blasted to center. Oh, Dalton Varsho's got This is one pitch, one out. We love that. If he gets Yonatan Daza here. Well, the one thing you hope for, don't nibble. He's right at him that time, 94 right. Goes after a high heater. Another fastball. Got him, and Zach Gallen has matched Brandon. Got one more to get. 28 home runs for C. Garby Guys, a new career high, is third in the league and runs batted in. And it's a ball and a strike. This night, following his 504 foot home run. In Friday's opener, and Gallons a strike away. One two pitch. Nice. Swing and a miss. There's the strikeout, and there's the new record. Zach. Gallon had a 10 pitch, seven strike first. Didn't go. That's going to get out of play. On that line drive hit by Ryan McMahon to lead off the Rockies first. That was coming right at you. And Zach Gallen heads Blackman to chase that curveball. Streamlined as of late. Zach's done a nice job with that. Just because, as Brent Strom has pointed out, you have five or six good pitches doesn't go from there. Michael Tolley, the right fielder. Fastball right at him. Six foot five switch hitter. Two point zero three. Mm. So he has not at all been phased by this environment, and he has struck out. Montero had a good night here. And five home runs. Wendelstead last night. I saw his great card after the ball game last night. Uh, a little hit and miss. Yeah. Alcantara at shortstop and make it 40 hard. The rookie is the left fielder. Leading off the Colorado third, and there's a fastball for a strike. The knocked in a run. The first multi hit game of his career. Zach Gallen has said he tries to go deep into the game, but really just trying to put zeros on the board, which I guess accomplishes the same thing. There's a nice sliding grab by Corbin. His outfield defense. And Todd talked about that during the pregame show. Oh, yeah. Guy carrying a scoreless streak like Zach is. Get dirty. Don't let anything drop. Zach Gallen making his sixth career start in this ballpark. He has never lost here. Strikeout number five, eight up, eight down. Nine. I think that's when he can occasionally get himself into trouble by being or trying to be too clever out there, and that's something Brent Strom has had to re in. Gallon's had a little more edge to him during this streak. And that's a good example right there. He's just. Wing and a miss. Zach Gallon, six strikeouts. Worked so well. He should be proud. He said, well, now he has to go after Oral Hershiser. And that is in the spirit of Brandon Webb. We'll see for quite some time. But Brandon's hanging out at Victory Lane Sports Park in Glendale, Steve. He's wearing a navy blue shirt. Move over. Zach Gallon is now. Up on the lead lap, and he's passed it, but uh, we appreciate everything he's ever done. Bobby said it best. Two and one on Ryan McMahon, who leads off the fourth. Well, Zach Gallen so far has count to lead off the fourth. 
Can they get there? Alcantara's going to give it a try, but McMahon. And this is going to drop into short right in front of McCarthy. McMahon holds up just to make sure. And here's the threat to that scoreless. In fact, Crone has hit home runs in four. Pretty good fastball there so far today. There's the curveball. That one got by Walker, may have been screened. Here comes McMahon, and the streak is over. Blackman hits a fly ball near the line in right. Long run for McCarthy, and it. Another curveball. Another curveball. That's three straight curveballs. Where, <laughs> but you don't see it. Well, Gallon just sticking with curveballs. Comes right at him with a heater. Told and we'll be talking about this again next spring. <laughs> He's missing with his. Likes the curveball. They're sitting right here. And totally a can check. Boy, he is just missed a curveball right now. 3 2. Fastball right there. Spotting that fastball for called strikes, and that's eight strikeouts. That's trouble. Going to get down in right center and get to the wall. Daza is home. They will wave Crone all the way from first. Larry Smith. O two. I'm sure Zach will tell you that was his new right here. One and two on Bouchard. Fits on that curve. Three, two. Got him. Three strikeouts in the inning. Nine in the ball game. Very meticulous. He punched out three in the fourth. Hampson sends it out to Corbin Carroll on the move, and Corbin runs it down. What that's going to do for your overall ball club, your pitching, your defense, wins and losses. The bat from where we are, you think, oh, that's a double, and then you go, well, wait, Corbin Carroll's out there. Nope, nope, he caught it, sure enough. <laughs> Six acres. There you go. Mister. I'm going to start calling you Mr. Haney from Green Acres. <laughs> Ryan Servin struck out his first time. It's a 28 pitch fourth. And boy, he was in a groove through three with that scoreless inning streak. Which probably not coincidentally. Three and two on Brian Servin. He reaches out and pulls it down the line. Foul. And we'll keep going. One more time down the line for Servin. And one more time pitches in this at-bat to Servin. And number 11 up next.
Only tip of the cap to Brian Servin here. Yeah. Alcantara comes in from shortstop on the short hop and makes a nice play, and that's out number. McMahon's a problem. He's homered four times against the Diamond. And has become, uh, I think, the favorite. Big time, as we've seen too many times. Rojas is way out there in the outfield grass, and they'll get McMahon, who singled and scored in that three-run Rocky Ford. Leads off the sixth. Fly in with cookies. Broken bat roller foul at third. Facing Tony Perez when he was with the Reds. Was it something about a backswing? No, no, no. Deck. <laughs> wow, this is the big leagues. It sure is. And the 10 strike. C.J. Crone has struck out. He drove in the run that broke the streak. An RBI single in the fourth. August 18th at San Francisco. When he also matched his career high by going seven and one third innings. Broken bat bouncer, Alcantara is there at shortstop. <laughs> Your $108 million contract back in April of 2018. He just turned 36 in July. 25 career home runs against the Diamondbacks for Charlie Blackman. He's been a problem for a long time. And then Georgia Tech, where he was still pitching until developed elbow trouble. Boy, Zach Gallen strikes out.